Hey, how's it going, everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink, and I am connecting health worldwide. I'm excited to be here with uh, Dan Shipman, owner of Full Torque Fitness in Largo, Florida. How are you today, Dan? Amazing. That's awesome. Good to hear. You know, it's my job to find the most trusted health and fitness businesses worldwide. Um, I came across your page and found you in uh, Largo, Florida. So I'm really excited to get to know you and get to know your business. Um, tell me a little bit about um, Dan Shipman. What who are you and what got you started in the fitness industry? Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm the general. I played, you know, sports in high school, went to college, stopped playing sports, uh, gained weight, uh, got out of shape and decided to do something about it after not having the greatest time out of high school and lost some weight. And some people asked me for some help. So I started helping and realized that this is something that was very rewarding to me to help people lose weight and uh, get in shape. And I started really pursuing it, started reading every book that I could ever get my hands on. I have a mountain of books that I've read, a mountain of books that I wanna read, and a mountain of books that I'm halfway through um, to learn everything I can about fitness. And then I met luckily my wife and she really pushed me even more and uh, got my degree in exercise science, during part of that, I had to do an internship at uh, IMG Academy where I had the ability to work with uh, tennis, golf, and baseball players. And then ended up going over to another place in Tampa where I became the director of the facility, working with pro baseball players, pro football players, and just a lot of general population. Years later, had twins, left that and started my own. And now here I am at Full Torque Fitness where I specialize in golf. So were, were you a golf athlete um, or athlete growing up? No, I, I uh, baseball, soccer, and football were the sports I played as I grew up. Uh, I did work at a golf course when I was younger, and I played a little, but never was really, really great at it. Um, I just, uh, as I opened my own, I really found a niche uh, that is underserved with golf. You know, people – don't really understand what it takes to be a trainer for golf. They, you don't have to lift a lot of weight. You have to be able to move. And that's really what I want to help is people be able to rotate, things like that. That's one of the reasons I went and got the Titleist certification uh, with the Titleist Performance Institute and just continuing with that and just really focusing on all of my knowledge on how to get more rotation, uh, more core strength and all that all together as one and really controlling movement. Okay, so you experienced, you know, weight gain in the past. You went to all the schooling. You know, how important do you think it was to um, go through the process yourself on your own body before, you know, implementing it with the people that you work with? Oh, that's probably the most important thing that you can do. Um, I actually call myself my own guinea pig all the time because I don't want to put somebody else through something if I haven't tried it. Right. Uh, and really, if I can't do it, why should I expect somebody else to do it? You know, I might not be able to do as heavy a weight as some of the clients that I train on certain things, but I might be able to do more than them on other things. As long as I can do the form, show them correctly how to do it, and know that it's a safe exercise and the right thing for them, I'm good. Yeah, that's incredible. And, you know, I know now you're specializing in golf fitness. You know, is that part of the the schools that you went to is what transitioned you into that you were in, you found a niche that was lacking. Maybe um, tell me a little bit about that process and why exactly golf fitness. Well, so, you know, I trained, like I said, athletes at IMG Academy for golf, tennis, and baseball. Those were all high schoolers. Uh, I moved on from there after I did my, I graduated from college and I got uh, a job with a place called the performance compound in Tampa worked with a lot of just general population, but also baseball and football pro athletes, and then a golfer here, a tennis player there. Right. But rotational sports has always been something, you know, baseball, tennis, golf that I worked with. And when I came over here and started my own, I had a couple people come to me and, you know, they were golfers. And I started seeing, you know, really good results, uh, knocking a couple shots off, uh, not feeling so fatigued at the end of a round, you know, having more power, hitting it further, whatever they needed. And I was, and they were talking like, there's nobody in this area that does this. And I was like, 
well, let me look into this. So I looked into it and I've really found that I really enjoy this part of it because of the challenge of mobility. You know, I can help somebody bench press more easy. I enjoy the challenge of taking somebody that can't rotate but a little and really getting them to rotate a lot for their golf swing. Well, that's incredible. You know, I'm always looking for the top experts in the health and fitness world. So now we found an, an awesome expert um, in Dan Shipman right here in Largo, Florida. So if you're looking for golf fitness or, you know, any fitness in that area, um, you serve locally. And uh, I think you said something online also, right? Yes. If uh, I really prefer people to be able to come in and every, every client of mine goes through a Titleist Performance Institute screen. Uh, it's about 16 tests and then a swing analysis. I correlate the two together to create their program to make sure that, you know, we're going in the right direction because otherwise we're just guessing. And if I can have somebody come here and do it, I've done it on Skype once. It's a little iffy, but uh, if they have the ability to do Skype, I'll, I'll work with it. Come in and then from there, uh, they can go back to their gym. I send them uh, workout videos with a explanation on everything and we can take care of them wherever they are. All right. Tell me a little bit about this title list um, cert that you have in the whole 16 pro, um, step program. Tell me, you know, you went to school for this. Uh, so title list performance Institute. It's a place over in uh, California. Okay. It's, it is a title list uh, company, but they aren't, you know, I'm, I can't say that I'm certified by title. It's just the performance Institute. And they've created a swing analysis and uh, testing series, a screen that is 16 tests that you go through. Some of them are just, can you move your wrist in certain ways? Can you turn your head? Because it all matters in a golf swing. Some of them are how strong are your glutes? Uh, can you stand on one leg with your eyes closed for a certain amount of time? There's all kinds of different tests. Uh, you put the people through it, nice controlled test, and then swing analysis, like I said, that I look for things like over the top, uh, early extension in the hips, uh, sway, slide, all these different characteristics of a swing. And once I find those, I can correlate them to what I found in the screen and really know what's going on with the body, what needs to be improved to be able to get more out of their swing. Okay, that's incredible. I mean, it makes me want to come try it out now. Um, you know, I don't even play golf that often, but you know, even then I want to come check it out and see what that's all about. Love to have you. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about, I know you have some great testimonials. Um, so tell me about, you know, one testimony off the top of your head that really stands out to you. Um, this guy came to me uh, through a friend. His name's Mike. He was a baseball player in college. You know, he did the weightlifting that, you know, the normal college athlete does, the bench pressing, the squatting, everything like that. And he's continued to do it. He started playing golf later in life and uh, really was putting everything into golf because he really enjoyed it. But he knew something was missing. And he had a bulging disc in his back. He was dealing with some back pain here and there. He came to me uh, through another client that I had. And we started working. Actually, we did three days a week, most weeks, uh, two days a week for a while as well. Um, and we worked on his mobility. We worked on his core strength. We worked on pretty much everything. He didn't really have to, or he didn't do much of that normal bench pressing, squatting stuff. Is a lot of single leg stuff, a lot of single arm stuff because they have to work independently of each other for the golf swing. You know, your right arm is rotating back, your internal rotation, external rotation, okay. same with the legs, all doing it separately. So they have to be able to move independently. So I taught him about how to do that. And between all of that and stretching that I had him doing at home every night, you know, the, the back pain was pretty much gone. Um, it actually gave him some of the best rounds of his life. He took uh, two strokes off his uh, game within a couple months, was hitting further, and the big thing was no pain. You know, that's probably what I find the most is people end up having pain towards the end of a round. And when they have that back pain, especially that's the biggest area, low back pain, they change their swing because their body's trying to guard something. And it's saying, hey, I don't want to do that because it hurts. So it changes how their body swings. And right there, they start having a couple of extra strokes added onto their game. If we can, by the end of a round, have it where you're still not having any pain, you're already automatically going to have a better game. Well, wow, that's awesome. And what a great story, too. Just seeing, you know, two stro strokes off of his game is incredible, I'm, I'm sure, for most players. Yeah. yeah. That was just a couple months.
So tell me a little bit about um, Torque Fitness. Full Torque Fitness uh, in Largo. Um, somebody was interested in working with you. You know, how exactly does that work? Um, well, they come in. Uh, like I said, we have to do that screen and the swing analysis to find out what's what, what the issues are and what we can do for them. Right. I, I don't do uh, big groups. I only do one-on-one -on -one training and small groups of three or less. Uh, that way I can save some people a little bit of money um, when it comes to training because obviously one-on-one -on -one is going to cost more. If you can count your own reps, which I hope most people can, and let me go over and make sure somebody else is doing the right thing and then come back to you and kind of bounce around between you and two other people for an hour, you can save a lot of money. Um, we, we do everything here. I have a golf net. You can't really see it back here. Uh, I have all the squat racks, dumbbells, minivans, even though for most of my clients, the squat racks aren't really even necessary other than like maybe something to hold on to when they're doing certain exercises, uh, maybe some pull-ups on them or something like that. Squats with barbells aren't always done. Maybe lunges, depending on, but you have to go through a uh, sequence. I always work on mobility and stability first. That's usually, it can be up to a three month process easily to get somebody to have the mobility and really control it. Then after they are able to control it, then we can truly build strength. And then once you've built strength, you can actually build power because, you know, if you can't, you know, push off of a certain hip, you can't build power. So why are we trying to do things out of order? You know, why, why am I having a person throw a medicine ball over here if he can't stand on one leg? How many days a week should they come see you? Uh, I recommend at least two. Three is general, and four if you want to really step your game up. Uh, two days only because if you do any less than that, I just you, you have so many hours a week that you can undo what we've done. I give everybody stuff to do at home, but I can't control what people do. We have busy lives. I understand kids, honey, or wife, husband, whatever it is, you know, and you have to do that. But I need like ten minutes of stretching a night two days a week, you know, people sit in cars, sit at desks. So there are a lot of, uh, uh, you know, or, um, upper cross syndrome, lower cross syndrome. We have to work against that. And if I only see you one day a week, it's, it's really hard to make sure that we work through all of that. How many minutes uh, for each session, if they're going to do two or three sessions a week? It's an hour long. It, the hour is usually 10 minutes, uh, five to 10 minutes of, uh, foam rolling, stretching, and then maybe another five minutes uh, included in that of a warm up. Then you do the workout, which involves the the weightlifting, if there is any, the real controlled movement, uh, really working on mobility, stability, strength, power, depending on what level they're at. And that usually lasts 30 to 40 minutes. And then there is a cool down part where we work on flexibility again, uh, maybe more foam rolling, depending on what the person needs for about 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to link all of uh, your website and your Facebook page, but uh, just tell somebody right here if they're watching, what's the best way they can get a hold of you and get started? Uh, the fastest way to get a hold of me is my, my cell phone. I'll give it to you right here, 727-710-0751. Uh, please call, and if not, you can always email me, dshipman at fulltorquefitness.com. Okay, we'll make sure we put those in the show notes then for sure underneath. But, you know, what's, what's one thing that a golfer – um, maybe they're not near us right now um, and, or something they want to start working on today or tomorrow. What's one quick tip you can give them that they should start doing just to improve maybe just one stroke? Warm up. When you go to a golf course, do a proper warm up. Don't just kind of maybe do a uh, little stretch, throw the bar, the golf club over your head, and then go hit some balls. Take the time to learn what a proper warm up is. If you warm the body up properly, prime the muscles properly, you're going to get more rotation out of your body. You're going to get more power out of it. Take five to 10 minutes to do a real warm up. Stop wasting your time with all that other stuff. Okay. Five to 10 minutes warm up before every time, every time you play golf. Um, what, about, what about I'm um, stretching in between uh, holes while you're waiting? Uh, you know, really it, if you're waiting very long, you can do some more of the same warm up uh, exercises. Ones that you felt gave you the most range of motion. Um, other than that, you shouldn't have enough. Like, you shouldn't have enough time for it to really, unless you're out there with your buddies, maybe having a drink. In which case, I don't know how much stretching is going to help you. Thank you so much, Dan, for uh, doing this interview with us. We're looking forward to seeing uh, all the people that you're helping. And if you guys are interested in, you know, helping your golf game out, or if you're in pain and you're struggling with rotations, definitely contact Dan. I, we recommend him um, either in Largo 
uh, the Tampa Bay area or um, through Skype. Thank Absolutely. you. So much. Thank you.